Hello. I had a, a, a tanning salon mishap. It's been kind of uncomfortable. Mm, what happened? I, bur I burned. They were out of my level, which is mm. level one, and I haven't been for a tan in like mm, nine months. So I'm like, oh, it's only 12 minutes. I'll be fine. I'm Italian. Got sunburned in some odd places. Well, mm. Solar King spray I keep around oh. for because it's good for everything. You you get like a little itch on your leg or something, and it's gone. You cut yourself, <laughs> and it's gone. Okay, the that works. They're there. <laughs> you see it? Uh, oh, it's a little pinker there in the middle. It's a little pinker. You can see my ass crack. It's a touch. Oh, I bet the, you can say that's all the girls. <laughs> it's very burned. It's not fun. Pobrecita. You need some solar cane. I do need some solar cane in my ass crack. <laughs> I used to use solar cane when I was a kid all the time. And Mercurochrome, yes, which I hadn't Mercurochrome. heard of until you which actually... Which one is that? What's Mercur is that the stuff that, the red stuff that you put on? Yes! Yeah. And we were IMing one night and she pulled it out and I was like, oh my god! I think you doused me with that one time when I was injured. I might have. They yes. put that on my ear when I took my... I took these earrings mm. on this side. I got into my car and this earring yanked out of my ear because oh, no. it got caught. So my earlobe was flapping like a piece of sushi. Oh, no. And they had to put 13 stitches to reattach it. It was really kind of Oh, great. you can't tell at all. Hardly. We're but, to bum um, everybody out, Lucia. Rolling. Hey, that's my job. Oh, okay. Rolling. Thank you. It's a little bit less exciting now that you. Rolling. It's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're back with Callie. Remember Callie? Hi, everyone. No, I I video blog too, and I'm always eating on my blog. I don't know what it is, but I always end up eating. Hmm. We're always drinking. <laughs> That's a lie. There. <laughs> I've swallowed the Cadbury egg, everyone. <laughs> the Cadbury egg has left the building. <laughs> well, tell me about your new short. Oh, well, I'd forgotten that I just happen to be releasing a new film. <laughs> um, well, uh, Andrea and I have a film coming out called Transproofed that uh, we wrote and produced and directed and act in. You know, it's a do-it-yourself world right now. And um, it's about a trans woman who's kind of Anna Nicole Smith-esque, played by me, and a trans woman who's like really conservative, played by Andrea, and my straight boyfriend is coming over to my apartment for the first time. Played by some cutie patootie guy. Oh. I, I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, he's handsome. Yeah, it's played by Joel Lambert, who's also going to be in the Transformers movie, and he plays like all these big military bodybuilder kind of guys. Andrea's character, Joyce, is like, oh my god, he'll come over and see your outlandish apartment and he'll figure out that you're trans and then your life will be ruined. And so my, my character and Andrea's character clean up the apartment, but in the meantime I have to decide, do I want to be honest about my history or do I want to hide my history from my new love? And so it's a short comedy, you know, with some fun new dance music I wrote, but it also asks the big questions. <laughs> <laughs> what are those big questions? Um, you know, do, do you want to claim your full identity, or do you just want to present the parts of your identity that our people are comfortable with? Hi, it's Ava. Hi, Ava, what's up? You've been telling me forever that I've got to transproof my apartment. You know that really hot guy that I met? The one who I haven't told yet? I offered to make him dinner. Nice. Here. When? Tonight. What? We have to transproof your place immediately. You want to date straight guys, right? This really isn't me, though. You know, stealth is sacrifice. So what's it going to be? 
Oh, Lucia, thank you. Lucia's shutting the door because apparently, as soon as we started rolling, trucks started going by. Gardner came over. Gardner came over. It it's sounds like someone's teeth are being drilled in the alley. I don't know what else is going on out there. That alley dentist. Yeah, you said he'd be gone this time. <laughs> First, let me say that I'm happy with who I am. I'm 39, going to be 40 this year, and I came out later in life, about mid-20s. It's been a slow, long journey for me, but I've reached a level of self-love, acceptance, and inner peace, though not as much of that as I'd like, but still working towards. But basically, I followed my own path, my own way, and learned a lot about myself. I read books on spirituality, on loving yourself, relationships with yourself and others, and I know that I've grown into a better person on that journey. I just do not know how to convey that to others. I'm sometimes shy and quiet, and um, I do have insecure feelings in some settings, but not at all like it used to be. While my journey did lead me to a place where I found comfort in my own skin, it did not really lead me to a place where I can put that out to others. For example, meeting girls. I was never comfortable going to bars and hitting on anyone. It's not me and I'm actually fine with that. I'm not comfortable with a random flirting. Physical attraction to me is the one thing, but it doesn't mean that I want to hook up or anything with someone if I find them attractive. I tend to go for the whole package, so when physical attraction is combined with other aspects that I admire, then I become interested and wanting to get to know better. So I don't flirt regularly. I like that it takes time to get to know me and that my humor may not come through at first, that my quietness may be construed as something else, that I appear geeky and dorky sometimes because it's all part of me, but not all of me. All of me as a whole is the real deal. And I love myself. I know my friends love me too, for all these reasons and more. And all the books say the same thing, be yourself. That's all I have ever been, just me, myself, and all that encompasses. So my question is, why is that not enough? If it was enough, wouldn't it be easier for me to meet girls and have them like me and appreciate me for who, they, who I am? I mean, I realize that there are other options to meet people other than bars, such as online dating sites and forums, and I've been active on such sites on and off for a while with little or no results. It used to be easier to connect online, but lately I can't even do that much, it seems. I've been meaning to try some meetup groups, but I am not sure how much different that would be from other social settings as mentioned. Hmm. That was very well done. Very. In fact, that was an ice cold reading. And you didn't stumble on one word. You got all of the emotional inflection correct. Like, I was very impressed. You got the job. Yeah. <laughs> Hired. It's just like iodine, it's a tincture of iodine. A tincture. Someone's a little showy with the vocabulary. She's a smarty butt. I, I don't mean to be a Logan Dedalian. But... <laughs> <laughs>